One year ago, a fire ripped through a beloved church in the East Village. Middle Collegiate Church was 128 years old, and its congregation dated back to the 1600s. But last December, an electrical fire in an adjacent building destroyed the historic church. Yet still that Christmas, the services were held virtually for the congregants. That determination continues even today as we see that they took to the streets for a pilgrimage. Fox 5's Lisa Evers with a story of faith undeterred. The chain link fence here around the Middle Collegiate Church is covered with flowers and messages of love. On the first anniversary of the devastating fire, the congregation took to the streets to show that their commitment to their faith and rebuilding is stronger than ever. The large, diverse group of Middle Church, as it's now known, congregants, began their pilgrimage at the Calvary St. George's Church, their temporary home. There was a sermon and songs of praise. Then they left for the walk to the East Village. There's something about love that will not be snuffed out by a fire. There's something about hope that cannot be snuffed out by a fire. And if this little community of revolutionary lovers can love each other across diversity, you see black, white, Asian, Latinx, um, indigenous, we are queer and straight, we are men and women, we are old and young, and we love each other so much. So I think we're a model for what the nation can do. Reverend Dr. Lewis says losing their church building did not result in losing their faith or members, and that actually more than 500 people joined in the last year. On this special Sunday, the service moved down 2nd Avenue to the church site. It was emotional for many. It was just so shocking to see our church up in flames, I can't tell you. So it, it just, to come today is just so important to know that we have survived and we will survive. The church prides itself on its diversity and welcoming approach, a message they say is needed, especially in these contentious times. I'm happy to be back with my church family and to be able to worship with them and gather with them. It's been really difficult to do that, not just because of the pandemic, but also the heartbreak of losing our, our church home and our place to gather. And it's just been a beautiful moment. And it's what kind of, of faith do you find in that fire? that allows you to move forward with a sense of hope. Engineers are currently inspecting what's left of the church to see whether it's safe enough to be salvaged or if they have to tear it down and start from scratch. You can get more information on their website, middlechurch.org. In the East Village, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.